Well, I've been asked the importance of applying for NAAE awards. You know, as an as a experienced teacher, I find that the NAAE awards are a very important part of our professional organization. As, as teachers, we're often asked to share our experiences and tell what we've learned and, and tell what our students have been doing. And I've often heard, especially from my old uncle, he said there's a poor dog that can't wag his own tail. You know, when I think about awards, one thing most teachers say is, I'm not going to apply for an award. I mean, I just, I'm not going to brag on myself. But sometimes it's not about yourself. It's about what we do. In fact, I would say all our award winners have been, would answer you and tell you that they do that to recognize their students, for their community, for their school. It's not about them. It's not about you. It's about your school. It's about what you have done for your students. It about, it's about what you have done for your community. And they are actually the ones that are getting recognized. You're receiving the plaque, and as a teacher, you receive the, the recognition and the award. But your school is actually the one that is getting the recognition, and your community, and the parents, and those students. So it's very important as teachers, whether you're a young member or an experienced educator or a multi-teacher program, uh, post-secondary, middle school, secondary, that you apply and get those students and get your community and get your school recognition, the recognition they deserve, not just you, but the recognition they deserve uh, for their work that they have done and the work that you have led them to do as an instructor, as, an, as a teacher, through National Association of Agriculture Educators. And then I've been asked, what is the importance of our professional organization? Why should I even be a member of NAAE? Well, to a young teacher especially, I would say it gives you an opportunity to be involved with other teachers, learn from other teachers, network with other teachers, share ideas, Experienced teachers, surely we can learn from those younger teachers that come in and be a part of our organization. Uh, professional development, uh, every conference you go to, uh, you'll surely learn. Uh, experiences, technology, uh, new ways of sharing and, and providing information to our students. There's also opportunities in committees. Committees is the health of our organization. Uh, where we work together, share ideas, come up with new ideas to make our association better. Not trying to change things and make things totally different, but what could be done different to make it even better than it was last year or the year before. Opportunities for officers to serve, serve as a leader, a state leader, a regional leader, and then even as a national leader. Uh, you know, I've gone through my career uh, as, as an educator, uh, through all these phases, as a young teacher, not sure which way to go, and then professional conferences, uh, as, as I've attended every year, have given me the opportunity to meet teachers all across this nation and given me ideas that I can bring back and share and continue motivating me and, and helping my students learn and become professions uh, in their their career choices. So I would surely encourage you to consider not only applying for awards and, and bringing the recognition that you deserve back to your schools and communities and your students, but also be a part of your professional organization. It's just so important. We encourage our students to be parts of FFA, be leaders in FFA, to be part of CDEs, so we as teachers surely need to set that example and be professional leaders in our organizations as well.